。观众朋友还记得传统的冰淇淋车吗？因为便利商店的发达，现在真的是越来越少见了。接下来的新闻，我们带您到英国一起看看，在英国现在的冰淇淋车还保有传统的可爱风貌。随着气温开始上升，冰淇淋车再度成为英国各地公园熟悉的景象。在阳光明媚的日子，大家在冰淇淋车前排队买冰棒、甜筒和瓶装饮料。对某些人来说，这是童年的回忆。当时冰淇淋车都停在住宅区或学校附近。You always hear it from your house, and then you get all excited and quickly run round look for a pound so you can get an ice cream. Me and my family used to go to our、um, caravan at the coast, and the ice cream man used to come every day, so we used to get ice cream bought for us every day. We used to do it for weeks and weeks, so that's what reminds me of it. 今天冰淇淋车已不如以往那么激动，多数只停在旅游景点、市集及节庆活动等顾客可能源源不绝的地方。虽然在英国销售趋缓，冰淇淋车制造商依然持续扩张海外市场。这个冰淇淋定制车生意已五十年，到现在仍秉持手工打造车辆。Export is is our key growth area.、Um, the UK industry has changed. Fewer vans on the streets, but equally there are more opportunities at the events and such like. But that's got to reach a saturation point, and our product is successfully operated in over 60 countries around the world.、Uh, new countries, new opportunities. Azerbaijan, for example, with a fleet of 20 vans working there. 出口市场占公司销售额的三分之一。对国外买家来说，英国制造的标签有很大价值。惠特比说，他非常乐意将英国传统带到一些意想不到的地方。虽然车子的平均成本仍高居不下，约五万至十万英镑，但惠特比预估它的全球流行度将持续飙升。